Hi everyone, my name is Cal Fackardeen. I'm a research associate at Workforce Windsor Essex and I'm excited to be leading this session with my colleague Nick Persa. Workforce Windsor Essex is a community and development board whose mission is to lead regional employment and community planning for the development of a strong and sustainable workforce. To learn more about what we do and how we can help you, please visit WorkforceWindsorEssex.com. Part of our work at Workforce Windsor Essex is to research the industries that are essential to our local way of life, such as manufacturing, healthcare, and construction. Today we will be focusing on the in-demand education industry and the many different jobs within this field. Over the course of this presentation, we will show you the skills and jobs being sought in our region within the educational sector. The education sector currently employs over 13,000 workers and accounts for 7% of the workforce in Windsor-Essex. By 2027, this is expected to grow by about 2%. This tells us that jobs in education are going to remain in demand well into the next five years. Among these jobs, the average starting salary is around $63,000. As this is an average, this can depend on the level of seniority required, hours, and hiring company. In order to give an idea of this variety of experiences, we have interviewed local professionals in the education sector to give us an idea of what it's like to work in the industry. First, we asked, what does a typical day of work look like for you? We generally, or more like than not, will not know where we are necessarily getting our next assignment at or like when we are getting our next assignment. Um, we receive calls from the automated system, either maybe the night before or sometimes the day of an assignment. Uh, one technically has the choice to accept or uh, deny this assignment. However, if you deny too many, you will get a call from HR. I fortunately have never experienced this. Just want to make sure <laughs> that's known. Uh, that being said, when I get a call, uh, it could be anywhere from JKSK to grade eight. Uh, I have this like little kind of go bag thing where I, I have like papers and stuff that I like to bring with me to every assignment. I keep track of all my assignments. I have this like really intense method that I will not go into detail in regards to because it is very long and windy. But um, I go, I uh, find day plans generally on the desk or sometimes they'll be emailed to me. Um, I will generally take attendance. I personally like to make a seating plan because that's how I remember names, but everybody has a different method. And I'm pretty much responsible for, of course, responsible for teaching the class and teaching the things that the teacher has left for me throughout that day. Um, I find it really interesting because of the impromptu classroom management that has to happen every time I'm there like every single class is different and every age has its own kind of like challenges and benefits and I've definitely learned a lot about um, interacting with students when I haven't had the time to necessarily build up rapport or the um, like the authority that they're like homeroom teacher or usual teacher has. So that's, I think the most the most interesting part of it is kind of like getting to know all the like strange tiny humans and working with them to have like a good, but also like controlled experience throughout that day. I think for me in this position before when I was supplying and teaching, um, it was a regular day, just like Ezra said, uh, but right now, as a community ambassador, honestly, uh, working with newcomers and giving how vulnerable is this community and uh, the students and the parents and how much support they need. I really uh, fill my days with school visits uh, a lot. I visit um, a lot of ESL students just to check on them, newcomer students to see how they're doing, um, talking to the parents, uh, troubleshooting, mind you, uh, what parents are, are uh, saying at school and their needs. And uh, yeah, and then also um, the, the best part of my job too is welcoming newcomers into our school board and registering them and seeing them just coming out of uh, coming from new country, how excited or nervous they are, and just walking them and orienting them about um, education in Ontario, how it looks like, what do you expect, and what the schools look like. Um, it's definitely something that I look forward to every day. It, it never gets old. And also, I um, I also check and track the students, the ESL students that are with us within the school board um, and see their progress along the years where they're with us. Um, and 
and uh, one of the best parts too is meeting with them at high school once they're almost done and just to see the transition that they have done with themselves and uh, the progress and how much they are excited to tell me about where did they get into university or college, knowing me that four years ago they came and didn't speak a word of English. So um, it's pretty interesting days. Every day is different. Every day is new. Um, every day we have new students, new families, and students that we are following up with. So it's pretty interesting. It's a really rewarding job. I'm thankful for it every day. And um, yeah, it's just a good sector to get in right now, especially with education and the need of teachers. Um, I really um, think that um, I worked a lot of jobs in the past, and this is one of the most rewarding jobs that I have. And I'm thankful for it every day and thankful for all the students. Um. So when I first started at Academy St. Cecilia, it was in 2020. So um, I was doing it virtually. So I would go into the school and I would do it virtually from the school. So I had my setup in my class. Um, now from the transition from COVID, so now I'm obviously in person. Um, so uh, when they do call me, it's typically from grade SK to like grade one. Um, and what I do love about Academy St. Cecilia is just the opportunity to work there, I've just gotten to know kind of all of the students in every class. And because they are such smaller classes, I just find it's um, easier to build relationships with the students. Um, so, yeah. We can also look at where these local jobs are being sought in our area. As we can see, 72% of education jobs are hired by employers based in Windsor. There are about 6% of positions posted by employers located in Tecumseh, 5% in Leamington, and the rest of Essex County, making up about 16% of these jobs. However, it's important to note that while some of these postings are based in these municipalities, there are many positions that are remote. This is especially true of positions in tutoring and other instructors outside of schools. Our region's education workers occupy many different areas of responsibility and duties. While they may be employed outside the education sector as well, janitors and caretakers are the most common workers in Windsor, Essex, that may be found in education. Closely following them are elementary and kindergarten teachers, post-secondary instructors and assistants, elementary and secondary school teacher assistants, and high school teachers. In terms of who is hiring these professionals, we can look at the employers in our region who are posting for workers the most frequently. Of these, the University of Windsor is the most common employer on our job board in the education sector, followed by the two largest elementary and secondary school boards in our region, the Windsor-Essex Catholic District School Board and the Greater Essex County District School Board. Rounding off our top five are St. Clair College and Varsity Tutors. We asked these local professionals, what's the best part of working in Windsor-Essex? Um, I think education is a good sector to get in right now in Windsor, um, especially that um, there are more uh, people moving into the city, moving into the community, uh, whether it's because of employment, because of immigration. Uh, there's a lot of reasons to get into the sector um, right now. And um, also um, just how uh, caring our schools are, whether it's public, Catholic, all the boards are all caring, they work together, they try to uh, um, work with for the students and their benefits. So it's definitely a good career to get in if you're into education and it's something that interests you at this time. Um, also ECEs, um, there is a lot of potential for ECEs to get into the market right now, youth workers, mental health. Um, there is a lot of aspects of education that we don't normally think about, just teaching, but uh, there is a lot of um, uh, stuff that you can do within education if you are thinking about um, getting into this sector. I originally wanted to teach in the States, uh, but I decided to stay local in Windsor, uh, mainly because, of course, my family's here. I also um, love knowing the community as best I can. So I come from a background of music and community theater. So I like to bring that into every school I go to or incorporate that in my everyday teaching because we have such a strong arts community in Windsor. And I love uh, seeing that progress through schools and the community and um, just cheering on students who want to pursue that kind of uh, thing in Windsor, Essex. Among those employers looking for new workers, the most in-demand jobs in education are as follows. Other instructors refers to jobs like after-school tutors, music teachers, and recreational instructors. From there, secondary school teachers and administration jobs at post-secondary schools. Next, we have elementary and kindergarten teachers and early childhood educators. 
As much as it's important to talk about the jobs that are in demand in our region, it's important for us at Workforce Windsor-Essex to see what kinds of people these employers are looking to hire. In these postings, we note the skills they are listing in order to give those looking for work in these fields an idea of what they can focus on for resumes and interviews. For employers in education, communication and interpersonal skills are the most common skills that they look for in new candidates. Organization, leadership, planning, and customer service are other skills that will often be found in those who enter the education sector. Next, we ask these local professionals, what advice would you give to someone who wants to work in education? Yeah, um, I definitely recommend that um, that path of career, or especially as I said right now, um, there is, if you like education and you like working with um, with students and children and in a school setting, then it's definitely um, a good opportunity for you to create change and, and um, be a positive role model to all the students and, um, and their families as well. I think um, we take teachers for granted sometimes, but teachers do a lot. They're the ones that is constant to the students. They see them all the time. And if you have it in you to uh, do that job and it interests you, I definitely encourage you to ask around and, and um, visit the Faculty of Education at the University of Windsor or St. Clair College for ECE or CYW. Um, it's definitely a path that is rewarding and um, it's uh, nice and it's fun always to just um, hang out with uh, and work with students that are looking forward to learning something new every day and looking forward to um, getting their future together. So I definitely recommend that path if um, you are interested in education and in helping others as well. The same thing I say to a lot of first year uh, friends that I've made and uh, friends that I have going into first year education next year in September. Um, be ready to learn. Um, a lot of times we forget that uh, we don't know everything and we have to be reflective as teachers and as educators, whatever your position is in the school. So I often like to remind um, myself and the other teacher candidates that it's really about um, a growth learning mindset rather than knowing everything and jumping into the field. So you're always learning from day one to your last day. Emotional regulation is a gift. Um, treating everyone as if all their needs are valid and more importantly, remembering that misbehavior doesn't necessarily mean like it's something personal. It's the fact that children express needs through misbehavior. And especially if you are an occasional teacher, everyone will be testing boundaries, which technically shows a need for uh, the creation of that secure space. So remembering that kids aren't doing anything personal children are just being children and people are just being people um it is super necessary in order to be successful um, in this role to close off this presentation we can highlight some of the free resources available at workforcewindsorassics.com first our we jobs board compiles postings from 50 plus online job boards to one site with direct links to jobs and allows you to filter for job titles, duration, sector, and others. Next, making a free We Jobs portal account opens additional features such as saving jobs, curating a custom job feed, and a resume builder. Finally, if you're curious about what your future career may entail, our career library allows you to search for duties, titles, education, working environment, and available postings. This concludes our look at the education sector in Windsor-Essex. We hope you found this useful for what working in education involves and what careers you may pursue here at home. Thank you for watching.